Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 best Iranian foods. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. From the earliest times Persians have been known for their hospitality, whether that of the tribesmen offering rest and refreshment to a weary traveler, or that of the urbane city dweller offering a sumptuous repast to his guests. Tradition requires that guests or visitors be served only the finest food available, and always in the most bountiful manner possible. Accounts of early travelers to Iran indicate that the dishes served have not changed appreciably over the centuries. In this video I'm going to take you through top foods you must try when you're visiting Iran. Number 10. Koresh di Fesenjin. This iconic stew, an essential part of every Persian wedding menu. Koresh di Fesenjin traditionally made with duck, this dish also works well with chicken or lamb. In the north of Iran it is sometimes made with fish. It is a relatively easy koresh to make, but it must be cooked slowly to allow the flavors to develop in the sauce. The consistency should be thick and creamy and the color almost black. Ingredients 2 tablespoons olive oil 1 and a half pounds chicken legs, cut up 1 white onion, thinly sliced 1 half pound walnuts, toasted, and finely ground in a food processor 1 teaspoon salt 4, cups pomegranate juice 1 half teaspoon cardamom, optional, 2 tablespoons sugar, optional. Number 9. Zerish Polo. The sweet and sour flavor of Zerish, Barberries, and the glistening ruby red berries set against the white and saffron tinged grains make this a feast for the taste buds and the eyes. Zerish polo is served at weddings and other celebrations because it is impressive and easy to make in large quantities. It is usually served with chicken, but it is also delicious with saffron yogurt lamb. Ingredients 1 medium onion, 2 to 3 chicken breasts, liquid saffron sugar, 3 to 4 spoons usually is enough, 3 cups rice soak in salt water after washing the rice, 1 cup, zerish, barberries, salt, pepper, turmeric oil. Number 8. Koresh di Gourmet Sabzi. Koresh di Gourmet Sabzi is sour and full of herbs. A popular favorite throughout Iran, this is a meal for both festive occasions and family meals. Recipes from different regions vary slightly. The Azerbaijani version, for example, uses black-eyed beans instead of red kidney beans. Recipes in the south of the country add chili and garlic, while in Shiraz potatoes are sometimes used instead of beans. The recipe here departs from tradition by adding spinach to enhance the taste and give the dish a softer texture. Fenugreek gives a very distinctive aroma and flavor. Ingredients 1 onion 4 cloves garlic 1 teaspoon turmeric 1 pound. Stewing meat 4 dried Persian limes 1 third cup kidney beans, dried 4 cups fresh parsley, packed 2 cups fresh cilantro, packed 1 cup fresh fenugreek 2 cups fresh chives salt, pepper oil. Number 7. Sabzi Polo. For the Persian New Year, Nowruz, celebrations it is traditional to serve this rice dish with fish, traditionally fillets of smoked white fish from the Caspian Sea. However, fresh fish is now widely available. In the north of Iran it is marinated in lemon juice and saffron, and fried, while in the south the fish is stuffed and baked. This rice goes well with most fish and meat dishes. Ingredients 2 cups basmati rice salt 8 cloves garlic vegetable oil, smidgen ground saffron 1 package frozen sabzi polo 2 tablespoons dried dill weed. Number 6. Cello Kebab Kubade. Kebabs have more variety than you might think. First, there's kubade, ground meat seasoned with minced onion, salt and pepper. It sounds simple, but the taste is sublime. There is kebab e barg, thinly sliced lamb or beef, flavored with lemon juice and onion and basted with saffron and butter. Chicken kebab, known as juje, is traditionally made from a whole chicken, bones and all, for more flavor although in American restaurants it's often made from skinless chicken breast, marinated in lemon and onion, and basted with saffron and butter. If you're lucky, you'll find jigger, lamb liver kebab, garnished with fresh basil leaves and a wedge of lemon. Number 5. Koresh di Gaima. Before the introduction of electric fridges, families in the colder, northern provinces of Iran such, as Azerbaijan devised ingenious ways to preserve meat for consumption during the winter months. The meat would be cut into small pieces, gaima, fried with onions, flavored with turmeric and other spices and put into big earthenware vats. A thick layer of solidified fat on the top ensures a good seal against microorganisms. These vats were kept in dark, cold basements over the winter. Each day, a small amount would be taken to add to the koresht. Koresht e gaima is diced meat combined with yellow split peas, dried limes and saffron with fried potatoes. 
Ingredients 100 grams, 3 and a half ounces. Yellow split peas, 1 medium onion, 4 dried limes, 300 grams, 11 ounces. Leg of lamb, 50 grams, 2 ounces. Butter, 4 tablespoons, vegetable oil, 2 teaspoons, turmeric, 2 teaspoons, powdered dried lime salt, and black pepper, 1 liter, 1 and 3 quarters pints, boiling water, 1 tablespoon, tomato, puree, tomato paste, 2 tablespoons, lemon juice, 2 tablespoons, liquid saffron. Number 4. Tarchin. Tarchin is an Iranian rice cake that includes rice, yogurt, saffron, egg, and chicken fillets. It is also possible to use vegetables, fish, or meat instead of the chicken fillets. Tarchin is composed of two different parts, the thin tardig part which includes the chicken fillets, saffron, and other ingredients at the bottom of the cooking pot and the second part which is the white rice. In restaurants, tarchin is mostly prepared and served without the white rice part. Ingredients 600 grams, 1 pound, 5 ounces, basmati rice 4 tablespoons salt 8 chicken pieces, 1 large onion 4 tablespoons vegetable oil 1 half teaspoon turmeric 3 tablespoons lemon juice, 6 tablespoons liquid saffron salt and black pepper, 500 milliliters, just under 1 pint water 50 grams, 2 ounces. Butter 400 grams, 14 ounces. Greek style full fat, whole milk yogurt 1 egg, optional. Number 3. Abgusht. This is a rich and nutritious dish, suitable for cold winter days. It combines complex carbohydrates, protein and fat, and with side dishes of fresh herbs and yogurt it makes a healthy balanced meal. Traditionally a poor man's dish, it has come into its own in recent years for informal family meals. It used to be made with the cheapest cuts of lamb and animal fat. In the old tea houses and caravansary, specially made individual clay pots were used to make abgusht. All the ingredients were put into the pot, a small quantity of water added and the lid was then sealed with mud. The meat and pulses are pounded together and eaten with fresh herbs and warm flat bread. The ingredients of abgusht vary from region to region. The most common version uses only chickpeas and no tomato puree, tomato paste. It is a very easy dish to make, but it has to be cooked slowly in order for the flavors to develop. Ingredients 3 pounds, 1360 grams, beef shank 1 can 15 ounces, 425 grams, chickpeas 1 can 15 ounces, 425 grams, white beans 3 garlic cloves 1 large onion 5 dried limes 2 bunches, cilantro 5 small potatoes 5 small tomatoes 1 to 2 tablespoons savory turmeric, black pepper powder, salt, abgusht is one of the most traditional Iranian foods. Number 2. Jeweled rice, rice with nuts and dried fruit. Dotted with brightly colored dried fruit and nuts, like little jewels, this is a sweet and savory dish that shows off some of the native ingredients of Iran, including pistachios, almonds, candied orange peel, barberries, carrots and saffron. It's cooked with a little sugar to balance the soreness of the barberries. Jeweled rice is served for special occasions, particularly at weddings, because the sweet elements symbolize a sweet life. It's traditionally served with chicken, which contrasts nicely with the sweetness. Ingredients. Cup unsalted, shelled raw natural pistachios. 1 quarter, cup slivered almonds. Cups basmati rice. Kosher salt. Orange. 1 half, cup sugar. Medium carrots, peeled, cut into matchstick size pieces. 1 quarter, cup dried barberries or 1 half cup dried cranberries. 1 quarter, Number 1. Sabzi Cordon, Herb and Cheese Plate. No Persian meal is complete without a dish of Sabzi Cordon, or edible herbs. The plate can include mint, tarragon, basil and cilantro, alongside scallions, radishes, walnuts, feta cheese and Iranian naan, flatbread. Simply tear off a piece of flatbread, tuck a bit of the herbs and cheese, and other garnishes inside, and fold it up like a rustic sandwich. The plate stays on the table throughout the meal, and the herbs are a crunchy palate cleanser between bites of stew and rice. Ingredients 0.8 ounces feta cheese 1 tablespoon coriander seeds 1 tablespoon cumin seeds 1 tablespoon caraway seeds 1 third cup extra virgin olive oil Coarse salt, such as Malden salt, fleur de sel, or kosher salt. What do you think of our list? Which of the dish you love the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.